Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome back to Elden Ring. As you may know or not, I just recently finished the game, beat the game, after about 300 hours of an amazing adventure and literally exploring every nook and cranny of the game, beating every boss, every enemy, exploring every cave, every catacomb, finding all the things that you need to find or should find or can find. So I feel really good that I was fully exploring and enjoying this game as much as you can. But it wasn't always like that. When I started out, I wasn't even sure if I'm going to like this game or if I'm even going to finish it. So I thought I'm going to make a little video to show you how it actually all started for me. So you kind of start here. I barely remember, but what I do remember is that there was a, a ton of messages on the ground that I was supposed to read and I was like, God, I just want to play the game. I don't want to read messages all the time. Is the whole game going to be like this? This is kind of taken away from the immersion. I don't know why they don't show it here in the second run, but I was literally not sure if I'm going to like that. So one of the messages was saying, you need to jump off here and I did. Okay, well, that was weird. Why did it tell me I have to jump? Okay, weird. So that was not such a good first experience. And then I end up in this place. There is actually this ghost that's sitting on a chair that I completely missed. And I now see that this guy is basically telling you to jump down into that hole in front of him, which I'm not going to do now because I'm going to just recreate my run for the first time but you can jump down there to basically learn about the game so i completely missed this whole tutorial section not even knowing that that was even possible so i go by this little golden tree and i'm like wow this is so pretty wow okay we have another door am i gonna go back into this area where i just was i open this door i'm like nope this is completely new where am i where am I going? What am I supposed to do? What is this? Oh! Okay. Alright. I have no idea what this is, but I touched it and it did something. And I have no idea what that there is, but I can't go through. And I walk up and I find more messages telling me weird stuff, like there's something behind the wall. And I'm like so confused. I'm just like... What is going on here? What are all those messages for? What am I supposed to do with those messages? I really don't like this. Is there any way to turn them off? I couldn't find out how to turn those messages off. So I get to this door. I'm like, okay, we have another door. And like, wow, this is the world? Oh my God, this is so cool. Cool, I can't wait to explore this. Where do I even go? Oh, okay, there is another light. Let me go and see if I can touch this one as well. And there's someone standing there. So, oh yeah, I can actually touch this light. Still don't know what this actually does. No clue. Oh yeah, in obscurity. So, I was not really listening to this guy at all, to be honest. I was just so eager to explore this world and find out what I can do that I was like clueless. I literally was like, where am I supposed to even go? It's not telling me where I'm supposed to go. It looks super pretty though. Am I just have to kind of find out? And what is this light pointing at? Why, why is it what, why is it going up there? I'm like, I have absolutely, I'm so lost. I don't know what's going on. So I was just like, oh, pretty flowers. I can pick them. Okay, that's a great start. I probably can loot a lot of things here. Let me just go find out. You know how you know from other open world games, you go and pick plants and then you can craft things. So what's over here? Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. I can't go down. Oh, no, this looks dangerous. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go down there. Maybe I shouldn't. And what is this white gate doing there on the left of my screen? What is what is this? I, I was just literally like, I don't even know. What is a golden rune? I don't know. The game wasn't telling me anything, but maybe it was telling me it should have told me in the, in the tutorial i don't know i've never done the tutorial so i don't know how much you actually learn from that so i was literally clueless 
And of course, I was walking straight into this guy on his horse and he killed me. I won't show that now because I don't want to die right now. But that's basically what happened. So I spawned back at the side of Grace right outside the door where I came out. And I died many, many times here, not to this guy, but further down to those bats that are up there and then some soldiers and the wild boar and I kept spawning back in that by that door and I was just like I can never explore this world because I die all the time I want to go and explore more I did not even know that the side of races were places spawn points that you can secure so you don't have to spawn in the same area over and over i think i spawned in the same on the same side of grace the first time probably like 10 to 15 times and i got a little frustrated and i was like not so sure if i still like this game but i really wanted to like this game so yeah here's this wild boar that used to kill me back then when i was super weak this guy and then this guy of course which was really hard for me to take down because I was so weak I had no power no armor no nothing I was a bandit so in case you're wondering and I kind of made it past those guys I just snuck by them and I found this cave and I'm like oh this is so cool there's a cave oh there's another one of those so I finally started to realize that those were spawn points. So I've learned something. Wow, kudos to me. So I realized that it was so dark in here and that I didn't have a torch or anything. So I'm like, oh, this is not so good. This is really dangerous. I don't really know if I want to be here. Oh, I don't even know. I think I'm going to leave. And I did. Uh, so I'm like, I don't even, wow, I have to get stronger somehow, so maybe I should just wait and see, right? But where am I supposed to go? There is so many places where I can go. This is such a big world, and it's not telling me at all where I'm supposed to go. But I was really, really pleased that all those messages were gone. There was no more messages on the ground, so I'm like, oh, okay, that was just the beginning area. So thank God I don't have to see those everywhere, because that was not cool at all so i see another one of those lights and i run to it and then i'm going through here i'm like what is over here and i'm like oh there's a big monster up there oh no uh-uh i'm not i can't do that oh no i gotta go okay i can't go that way okay then i already know i can't go this way so then i went I got attacked by the soldiers right here too and I was like okay uh, they are really powerful they are killing me I cannot go there either so maybe I already went too far maybe I should not go here maybe I gotta go back to where I started and find another way where I can actually go still at this point I was super confused and absolutely clueless of what to do at all so I was just running into every direction here. And I'm pretty much trying to reenact that now. I got to finally kill one of those guys here. I managed to kill him, obviously not that fast. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait, what is this? Oh, cool. I could actually, from one of those, not this time, but I was managing to get one of those soldiers outfits which I realized gave me more armor. So I'm like, aha, but I really don't want to kill any turtles. Please game, don't have me kill turtles. I do not want to do that. I really hope I don't have to do that. Ooh, what is this? What is in this water over there? I don't know. Oh, there's more flowers. Cool. Maybe this is the way i have to go now but i still don't know are they dangerous they don't look dangerous at all they look like eggs i don't know <laughs> so i never really bothered with them i tried to literally stay away from every enemy that i was like thinking could kill me because i didn't want to have to respawn in the same location over and over 
And I found some new things here, which is called Ruin a Fragment, which I still to this point actually never know what that was. I collected tons of those and I don't even know if I ever made use of those or what they actually do. But anyway, I just kept collecting stuff. And I ran into those guys and I was actually able to take those guys out pretty easily, not with one hit like here. I wasn't that strong back then. It took me maybe like five or six hits to take them down. But I was like, oh, this is so cool. I got stuff from them. And I actually also got runes from them, which I still didn't really know what that was. But I was just happy that I found things and I knew that that must be a good thing, especially if you try to level up and get stronger. So that's what I did. I just got all the small little weak enemies. And then I ran into this door here and I'm like, whoa, there's a lot of doors in this game. What is this? Where does this go? Maybe this is the way I have to go. Oh, there's another light. So this must be the right way. Got this light. All right, light is done. Let's go and see where this goes. Oh, wow, this is so cool. The catacomb. Oh, what is that over there? Oh, there's another thing I can pick up. But I did not know that there's some guys waiting there for me around the corner. And even now, <laughs> they actually got me faster than I expected. This was such a scary encounter right there. I was just like, I'm so out of here because I don't want to die again. So that was another place where I was like, okay, I can't do that. I'm not strong enough. I have to come back another time. So I explored farther over here. Oh, we got another one of those skulls. Still don't know what that does. Oh, what's down here? Oh, wow. This goes really far down. Am I supposed to go down there? Oops. What is happening? Oh, no. So I just learned that there is fall damage in the game and I also learned that I now spawn at a new side of grace, not at the beginning anymore. Wow, I've learned something new. Awesome. And I also learned that there is weather changes. All of a sudden it's not sunny anymore and oh wow, what is this? Are those the runes I lost? Oh yes. That is really cool. They actually always are at the top of where I fell down and not the bottom. So I was like really positively surprised. I was like, this is really cool. If you die and you can pick up your runes from before you fell, then falling down somewhere by mistake is not a big deal. So I was like, maybe the game is not as bad as I thought after the first impression of those messages, not knowing where to go and not even knowing if there is even going to be a story or not. I was thinking, you know, maybe there's more to it. So I am glad I am giving this game a chance, but I still didn't know I had to actually go to this church at all. I was literally walking by this church many many times ignoring it because i was so eager to go into this direction for some reason i don't even know why and i was just focusing on those soldiers so much because i realized that they gave me quite a bit of wounds they gave me like armor they gave me weapons and i just could level up this way so i spent a lot of time in this corridor right here until I ventured a little farther and I was like, oh, there's a path going here. Where does this actually go? Still not a clue about what to do, but chasing this scarab down, not a clue what this really does. Oh, I get something from hitting that. All right, something more learned. Those guys were definitely way too tough for me. And then I ran into this guy on the bridge which I managed to actually completely sneak by and never aggro him like I do just here, but I'm no longer afraid of the guy. I was really afraid of this guy. 
But I quickly learned that you can sneak by him, no problem. He will never even know you're there. And with that, I just learned that I could literally sneak by any enemy if I'm careful enough and that that lets me actually explore pretty much everything. But again, I did not know where I was supposed to go. I was just thinking, I'm just going to look at everything that I can. Whoa, there's another one of those scarabs. Oh my god. No, uh-uh. Can't do. Oh my god. No. So I knew this was maybe not the place I should be just yet. I'm probably totally underleveled for this. So I find another side of Grace and I finally kind of sit down. I think that's like one of the first times I kind of sat down and I was like, what is all this? What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't even know how this works and it's not telling me how this works either. I am so overwhelmed. Oh well, I will hopefully someday find out how this works. And I realized it was dark. And when it's dark, other different creatures, sometimes more dangerous creatures, come out of the woodworks. And guys like that become even more scary. So I just kept running for my life and sneaking and hiding. I run by this and that scares me even more. I'm like, oh my god, there is not only this guy on the horse, but there is those two big creatures, those giants. They are tied up, but they still look really scary. And oh my god, there's more enemies. I am just running through the night for my life, totally aimless, still had absolutely no clue what I was supposed to do or where I'm supposed to go. So I was thinking, well, I don't know if this game is gonna keep me interested for very long, but I'm gonna see if I can ex at least explore everything there is to explore. And I probably have already seen most of the world by now, I'm assuming. Ha <laughs> ha Little did I know. So I'm like, red eyes? Oh no, I'm the heck out of here. I kept running for my life. I'm like, I don't know how I might even get through this night. This is so scary. I'm just going to go and run. Hopefully, eventually, I'll find where I need to go. So I end up in this area here and I see a bear and I'm like, oh my god, so cool. Look at that. There's a bear over there. All right, I hope he's not dangerous. I don't know. I may just kind of get away for a little bit just to be sure. No, he's not doing anything to me. I'm good. Well, he's kind of coming my way. So maybe, yeah, my, maybe I should not be so close. I'm just going to go. All right. This was not the way either. So I continue my journey into a different direction. Still hoping to find where I need to go. It is quite dark. I can barely see anything. I'm like, whoa, what was that? Oh no, bats. Oh no. Two of them? No, I can't do. Leave me alone. Go away. I'm running. I am running for my life. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Please, something tell me where I need to go. I don't know. Oh wow, there's more. Okay. I'm gonna just run down here and see. And I keep running and running, and then I see this giant. I'm like, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, I hope he didn't see me. Oh, there's another of those, like, churches. Let me go and check it out. Maybe there's something in there. It's kind of ruins. There's probably nothing there. I'm gonna go look. Maybe I find a weapon or two. Oh, there's another one of those lights. Awesome. All right. Let's touch this so I can spawn back here so much I knew. And I thought, hey, if I find those lights, maybe that's how I have to go. Maybe I have to find all the lights. I don't know. Let's go see what's at this beach. This looks like it's pretty much a dead end, right? Oh, look how cute it is. Hi there. Ouch. Okay. Oh my god. The mother is here. Yeah. Uh, no. 
I guess this is not the right way either. So at this point, I'm thinking, man, I don't even know where to go anymore. I feel like I've seen everything. This is not even such a big map. Why are people saying it's such a huge game? I mean, I feel like that's pretty much it. It's, I don't even know what to do. Oh, what the heck is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, well, I'm just going to ignore it. But I realized, whoa, there is actually a path going up here. So maybe this is getting me into another area. And I run into those wolves and they seem pretty harmless. I'm actually, I was actually able to take them down pretty easily until the whole pack came after me and I died. But I then did not give up. I came up here again. I was a little bit more careful. I found some good stuff here and I'm like, okay, at least... I get into a new area. I was like, this can't be it. There has to be more to this game. The world looks way bigger, but I'm running into so many dead ends and too many dangerous enemies that kind of tell me that this is not the way to go. So I keep running up here. At least this is getting me somewhere. And I do not see this giant just yet. I actually don't see this giant at all because I was looking at flowers and, and trees and what not and this the, the pretty sky and stuff until this happens and my heart almost stopped right there i'm like oh my god no 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 i just oh my god this is so scary i gotta get away so i ran back downhill to the wolves and then the second time around i managed to sneak by him not this time actually i'm trying to show this but i managed to sneak by him and just kind of get up the hill but this guy is definitely really scary when you're very new at the game and super weak and you definitely know that you cannot beat this guy at all so yeah that's uh, what happens if he actually does get you and uh, well anyway the guy wasn't coming at me at this time so I was like oh there's another church cool there's probably gonna be another light in here let's go and and activate it so I'm getting closer maybe this I'm on the right track why is this church all red weird I don't know let's just go and get the light and instantly I had my first encounter with an NPC invader I was so surprised because I thought you could only get invaded if you play online and I was purposely playing offline so this doesn't happen well i was wrong you can get invaded when you play online just by npc invaders so i was spawning back at the church of marika and but i wanted to continue exploring up here so i was just very careful not to get too close to that church anymore and i chose a different direction I was like, well, I haven't seen anything down here yet. So let's just go and see what's down here. Yeah, the invader is not coming after me. Awesome. Great. Let's go see. Whoa, there's a lot of ocean here. So I can definitely not go that way. But it feels like I'm going back down to where I already was. So maybe I did see the whole world already. Ha, huh? was I wrong? And I literally remember how super scared I was of this ghost chip because it came at me really, really fast. I did not know what to make out of it. It just looked super scary and I ran for my life. It doesn't look scary at all anymore now, but it was very scary for me, let me tell you. I basically just ignored it and ran farther up the hill here and I'm like, oh, there's another light. Okay, good, that's a sign that I'm on the right path. So then I fought a bunch of skeletons and I came to this bridge and I saw this guy and I was like, oh no, I am so scared. And I actually managed to sneak by him just like that. To my surprise, he never even saw me. He wasn't even reacting to me. I was so happy because this was the way I wanted to go. I knew there was more back there, stuff that I haven't seen yet. And I found this side of grace here. And I was just so happy that I had another point where I could spawn at so much. I knew 
that was about as much as I knew about those side of braces. I still didn't really know exactly how those stats worked or anything. And then I heard something. So I was so eager to find out what that was. I was like, finally, I thought this game didn't have any quests or any stories, but this is a, sh a light. Maybe there is something to more to this game after all. And I got really excited and I find I'm this stuck. pot. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander. So I listened to him, I helped him out, I did this quest and I was just, I in instantly felt different about this game. I'm like, if there is actually quests in this game, I am gonna love this game. I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, there are so many different creatures in this game. Every time I thought I saw it all, there was one more thing. First I thought it was a harmless, whatever you call that thing, until I realized it wasn't all that harmless. And I knew it was time to run and go find another way to go. So at this point I always thought that the game is trying to tell me if there is a really dangerous enemy that I can't take on that that wasn't the right way to go. So I'm like, where does this take me? It does take me into new areas. That's good. There is more to see, I guess. So this thing here, this getting through this area took me quite a long time because those enemies can kill you really fast when you're new in this game. And, but I did find a way to sneak around all of this. It took me a few tries. But fortunately, there's a side of grace right before that, so it wasn't such a big deal. I finally made it through here. Well, kind of like that, with the wolves finally letting go of me. And I find this shack here and another side of grace. And I'm like, you know, as long as I find new things, I'm super happy. And there was a guy in there that I could talk to, but to me it was all just mumbling. I had no clue what he was talking about. I didn't know what I was supposed, was I supposed to do anything or not. So I was like, eh, I can always come back here. I still just want to explore and find things. So I kept running, avoiding enemies, running, 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 eager to see more of the world. That was really my goal. I just wanted to see everything of this world i didn't really actually care anymore if i knew where to go i was thinking eventually it will lead me into the right direction i find another shack and another light and i think there was another person here to talk to i don't remember anymore it was like 300 hours ago but uh that's the way i went so then I ran down hill a little bit to find a new area again. And I'm like, oh, cool. There's some more ruins and stuff. Is this actually taking me anywhere? I didn't each even know that I was actually just running a loop and I was almost back to where I started originally. And then this happened and that really gave me the big scare. I'm like, whoa, that guy looks super dangerous or, or is he not? Oh yes, he's coming after me. No, run, run, run. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. Help, sheep, help me out. Where am I supposed to go? Oh no, he's still coming. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. So basically, this is where I kind of reached the end of the route. I felt like, okay, uh, I can't really, ouch. Yeah, and I also learned about those goats being rather aggressive if you aggro them. And they can hurt you quite a bit if you're new to the game. So I literally was like running out of things to see here, or so I thought. 
So I decided to go back to the very beginning because I was like, I must have missed something. I don't know, but I cannot find out where to go and what to do. I need to go back to the beginning and just see. So here I was again. I was like, whoa, I can't believe I started here so many times and didn't even know. Now I know a lot more about the world, but I'm a little disappointed that it is so small. I really expected it to be a lot bigger. Oh, well, let me go and at least check out those ruins over here. I haven't seen them yet. Maybe there's something in here. So this is the first time I entered the church of Ele. So then I go to this guy over there. I'm like, what is this? Oh, smithing stone. What is that? I have no idea. Whoa, what is that? Can I talk to this guy? Oh, yes, I can. Why does he not have a face? Did they forget to design his face? That is super weird. Well, he's talking a bunch of stuff to me. And to me, again, this just sounded like a bunch of gibberish. But he was selling me stuff or he's trying to sell me stuff so i finally got a torch and the telescope because i think it told me i have to get that even though i ended up never really using it but yeah okay i had all that so then i chit chatted a little bit more with him and still didn't really understand what he was talking about and then i was on my way again and after I passed the ruins here with all the soldiers that I was kind of not brave enough to tackle, I found another side of grace that I completely overlooked before. And I was like, how could I have missed that? Wow. Okay. And all of a sudden, I was able to talk to Melania for the first time. And she told me about the horse. And I'm like, oh my God, I can have a horse? How cool is that? Well, that's going to make things way easier. Well, that thing doesn't really look like a horse. That looks more like a cow that runs like a horse. But anyway, that is pretty cool. It's a little bit unrealistic, but you know, it's a fantasy game. So I guess it's okay. Wow, look at that. I can be finally fast like the wind. Oh, what a difference that makes. Man, I wish I would have known about this horse earlier. That would have saved me a lot of hassle. Ha. Huh. And then I heard another voice. You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. And I just realized that I ran into another quest. Well, the beginning of a quest, which is something that i did but i'm not going to show that here now so having the horse made me feel a lot more courageous so i'm back to those places that i've been before not scared that much anymore still careful though but i knew i could get away from all the dangerous enemies a lot easier and i happened to stumble across the next big unexpected thing which is this i had no idea what that was but you know curiosity got me so i'm like whoa what is this <gasps> what is happening oh no 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 i don't want this i did not know that was an elevator i thought uh oh this is gonna get me into like a dangerous area i am not prepared for that at all oh well I'm on this now. I can't get out. I had no clue what this was at all or where this would take me. And this elevator takes a really long time to get to the bottom. So the longer the elevator I took, the more worried and nervous I got. And I was, I finally got a glimpse of the world down here. And I'm like, oh my God wow it lo sure looks pretty but i don't think i'm supposed to be here just yet and how the hell do i get out of here again i was really worried but then i saw this side of grace and i'm like okay i think i should be able to get back to other graces from here so i was 
just so fascinated by this and how beautiful it was. I needed to go explore it. I knew that it could be dangerous, but I just had to see. I found a bunch of good loot down here and I was also able to defeat a lot of those enemies and then I find another elevator and it goes up and I'm like thank god it goes up so maybe this is just taking me out again okay cool well little did I know that this was just the beginning of this whole new underground world and so I was just absolutely in awe I'm like I thought I saw everything in this game and now this. You've got to be kidding me. And what I didn't know that you can actually use the horse down here, which I'm doing now, but I did not use the horse at all down here, which got me into a lot of trouble because I was definitely super under leveled at this point and being on foot was not ideal. But I managed to go really far in this world and find a lot of good things by simply being sneaky. After I got killed too many times, I had enough and I came back here and I was like, I haven't really explored this lake yet and what's over there. So let's go and do that. And what the heck is this? Summoning pool. What is that? I don't know. I touched it. No clue what it does. All right. Okay. We'll find out later, I guess. Oh, there's more of those eggy guys. They weren't really scaring me anymore. I was able to take them down. And then this happened. And I'm like, there is dragons in this game? Oh my God. This guy's huge. Am I supposed to kill this? There's no way I can kill this. No, uh-uh. I'm out of here. So I managed to get away from that guy, which surprised me because I literally thought I'm going to die right there. And then I was like going on exploring the ruins over here. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen those ruins yet. There's more loot here. Cool. And I saw that there's stairs going down. Ouch. So I cannot get off the horse for some reason. Let me off the horse, please. No. Those doggies are super brutal. I managed to somehow get away from them and run down into those ruins, run past those rats, kill some of them. So I was able to open the door and I found this chest and I'm like, yay, maybe I get a better weapon finally. Well, little did I know that I just ran into a so-called transporter trap which was super scary because now I was in a place that I didn't want to be. So at least I get something out of the chest now. But I am really worried because I don't even know where I am or how I get out of here. I see a bunch of new enemies that I've never seen before. They start attacking me. My health goes down really fast. I run for my life and I die. And I die again and again and again and again. And I'm really thinking I will never get out of here. But I finally managed to run fast as the wind, avoiding all of them, getting my runes and just run, 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 run and duck and roll and do whatever it takes to finally get to this part where I'm thinking, hopefully this is going to get me away from them. I'm like, oh, okay. They're not coming for me. Awesome. So then I see the side of grace and I'm like, oh, thank God, because I tried to fast travel before that and I couldn't. So this is the only way to finally get out of this place. But of course, curiosity got the best of me. So I was like, I have the side of grace now. So if I die again, at least I have a place to spawn. That's not as dangerous. I got to see what this is. Where does this take me? Oh, wow. Where the heck am I? So I quickly found out that I was in the red map, which I read somewhere is high level. And I knew that this map is not a place for me to be. But 
it still looked pretty impressive. So I enjoyed the view, but then quickly went back to the world that I felt more comfortable in. I was like, wow, I didn't really actually see this area up here yet, all the way over here. How do I even get there? I didn't even see that. Well, let me go and check that out. So I had to learn that in order for me to get into that castle, I needed to defeat a boss, which I was completely underleveled for. I had no chance. I barely was able to defeat those soldiers in front of the, the castle. But then someone told me that I can actually get past the castle where there is a whole new world by simply taking this path and by a whole new world, I was completely sold. I was like, I have to go and see it. So I said hello to this old woman who is talking a bunch of gibberish, also something that really I did not understand. I had no clue what she was talking about. She was talking about some fingers, which I was like, what the hell is that? I don't know. Let me just go and see how I can get around this castle. After having thought that I already saw the whole game and there was nothing more for me to do, there was no story, there was no quest, I got a little bored and I was a little disappointed. I had new f fire again. I was optimistic. I was like, oh wow, there is more to see. I am so excited. I cannot wait to go see what's behind this castle. I am so glad this person told me about it because I would have never ever figured this out myself. I would have probably walked around in the previous map forever until I was leveled high enough to fight that boss, which took a little while to actually do. So this was a really great tip. So thanks a lot to the person that told me that was for me an absolute lifesaver and actually probably also was the reason why I continue playing this game. Because what I found here was literally blowing my mind. Not only did I find a completely new world, but this world was actually way bigger than the world I was just coming from. And with this new discovery, the game had me sold. I was in love. I didn't care that I couldn't figure things out yet and that I didn't know if there was even a story to this game. I was in love. And then I found out from some kind of YouTube video that the world was even bigger than that. And I was so hooked. I just could not wait to just go and find out everything that I could. The game was just absolutely massive. People were not lying. So I am not going to continue the story at this point because I don't want to bore you any longer, but I just wanted to share my first experience with this game, which is probably very unusual as most people probably won't do it this way. It, I kind of did it the hard way, but I do not regret anything. I actually enjoyed every minute of it. And this is actually the first game that taught me that dying over and over is not a bad thing. In the contrary, it's actually a good thing because it actually makes you learn something that makes you very proud afterwards. And that's the greatest feeling in a game, in any game, really. So I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a little long. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.